Greetings, Earthlings. Let's talk a little bit about analyzing. So first things first, where would that be in the Abitur? Well, pretty obviously in part two, uh, analysis or mediation. Um, and what does analyzing actually involve? Well, in abstract terms, when you're analyzing, you're extracting relevant information from a text, interpreting and structuring that information. And when you've done that, then you need to draw conclusions based on this information that you've written down. Now, maybe that's a bit too abstract. So let's look at a couple of uh, concrete tasks to maybe make things a bit more clear. Uh, here's one to get started with. Uh, analyze Larry's attitude to Silas in crooked letter, crooked letter. So what you'd have to do here is basically go through the, the, the novel, um, extracting the relevant stages of their relationship uh, and say what that tells us about Larry's attitude towards Silas and, and draw conclusions based on that. So what might be the stages of uh, Larry's relationship or Larry's attitude towards Silas? Well, I've just noted down four to keep it simple. The first one would be uh, where Larry sees Silas as a potential friend. Then the next stage would be where he sees him more in terms of rivalry. And you can see that quite uh, nicely in the, the fight scene where they're fighting over the gun in front of the man who turns out to be their father. A third stage might be this kind of long silence uh, between them where Larry uh, is clearly disappointed uh, in Silas. And then towards the end of the novel, we get this, this rapprochement, a possible rapprochement where um, uh, possibly their relationship is going to start improving. They might even become friends again uh, one day. So when you've got those four stages and, and you've structured that nicely, then you draw conclusions based on that. What might conclusions be? Well, one simple conclusion might involve uh, the development of the, the attitude. It starts off uh, quite positively with the relationship you could describe as friendship, goes downhill uh, during the main body of the novel with the, the fighting and the disappointment and so on. And then towards the end of the novel seems to be going um, uphill again uh, to a relationship that, that might once again become friendship of some sort. Another conclusion you might draw that's perhaps more interesting than that uh, would be that during all these stages there's some kind of ambivalence in Larry's attitude towards Silas. So even when they're friends, there's a racial background which prevents it from being a normal friendship. Even when they're fighting, there's still Larry's desire to be friends there. And like we've said very often, at the end, the whole thing is ambivalent. We, we don't know in what direction really their relationship is going to go after the end of the novel. Okay, so that's how you could approach uh, that kind of question. Another question might ask you to do a bit more than analyzing. Here's an example. Um, so you know in the Abitur you're, you're given a text of, I don't know, eight, nine hundred words in length usually. Let's say you were given a text about belonging and then you might be asked to do something like analyze the text and compare or relate it to Larry's struggle to belong in crooked letter, crooked letter. Analyze the text and compare it or relate it to Larry's struggle to belong in crooked letter, crooked letter. So the first thing there uh, would be to analyze the text itself. What does the text tell us about belonging? Well, of course, it's a fictional text, so we don't know exactly what it says, but you'd need to structure that information. Uh, and then basically compare that or relate that to what we know about Larry's struggle to belong, the way he's always looking for friendship, the way he, he's always failing to find friendship, the way that at the end of the novel maybe he has found some kind of friend. And then when you've done that, when you've looked both at the text, what the text says and what uh, the novel says about uh, Larry's struggle to belong, then you would draw conclusions. And again, it depends on what the text said. It could be the text and the novel uh, tell us very similar things about people's struggle to belong, or they tell us contrasting things. Okay, those are two uh, 
types of question involving analysis. Now a question I often get asked is what's the difference between analysis and com comparison, yeah? comparing uh, things? Well in one sense that's uh, quite a clear-cut difference. If we look at the first question I talked about, analyze Larry's attitude to Silas, well that has nothing to do with comparing because comparing always involves uh, two uh, different texts which are going to have contrasting views of things generally speaking uh, and you're going to be asked to say what it's like in the one text what what it's like in the other text what are the similarities what are the differences whereas in that type of analyzed question you've just got one text and you're going through that text and drawing conclusions based on that one text so no, no comparison there at all however if we look at the the second task that I just talked about then uh, things look a bit different there because uh, when we say analyze the text, yes, that's purely analysis, but the second half of that task was compare or relate it to Larry's struggle to belong. So basically, that's actually very similar to a comparison because you've got the, the one block, if you like, which is the text, the other block is Larry, and then you're being asked to, uh, to compare or contrast what these two texts say. Yeah? So analysis on its own is something quite different from comparison. But if you have a question like the second one there, which goes further than that and asks you to relate it to another text, then in fact it is very similar to comparing two texts to each other. Um, what kind of words, phrases might you want to use to structure uh, your analysis texts? Well, there's a whole range basically because analysis can on the one hand involve basically listing uh, points one after the other and there of course you would use uh, words or phrases like furthermore, in addition to, but if during the course of your analysis you see that uh, one point is different, that things have changed compared to uh, how they were before, then you might also want to use contrastive words like however or on the other hand. So you really need the full range there. Um, very important is the conclusion, like I said. And here you could start with something like, well, the usual in conclusion. Um, but how about this analysis shows us that. Oh, in conclusion, we can see that. Various possibilities like that. Okay, so to sum up, how are you going to approach it? Um, a short introduction doesn't need to be particular, particularly long, just telling us what you're going to analyze, what the topic is about. Then nicely going through the text in a structured uh, manner, setting out the relevant information, and then you've got the conclusion at the end of that. And like I said, if the question goes further, asks you to relate it to another text, then of course you can proceed like in a compare question in many ways. You've got the analysis block and then the second text and then your conclusion is talking about how similar they are, how different they are. I hope that helped you a little bit. I shall see you very soon. Bye. Look what I can do. Very impressive, right? <laughs>